God bless you. Thank you, Cabaretta. Thank you, Bros Fanteo. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. It's been a while. And I celebrate God for your testimony. God bless you. I'm really happy for you. Let me just start this thing again. So sure. Times without numbers. Lord, I've missed it. Try to have my way. They said, and I know I don't deserve another chance. God bless you, Marie. I was reading your comments today from yesterday. Oh my God, I am so glad you were blessed by yesterday's um, teaching and prayers. God bless you. Larry King for life, thanks for joining. God bless you. Good evening. Mama Meli, you're making me to blush. <laughs> I love you. That's my Caribbean mama. <laughs> for you. Set me free, now set my heart on fire, I'm available, I want to burn for you. I want you to listen to the lyrics of this song, okay? You are the potter, and I am the clay. So bring me and use me as you will, oh God, oh God, oh God. Breathe on me, bread of heaven, fill me till I overflow. I want to burn, I want to burn for you. Let me on fire. Let's shut up. 
God bless you, Kinsmen, in my rag way room. Oh my gosh. God bless you, Ma. Thanks for joining. I celebrate you. Invite people, okay? I wanna burn for you. Set me on fire. Set my heart on fire. Let me burn. Let me burn for you. I wanna do the things that you did, Jesus. I wanna preach the wall. I wanna heal the sick. Yeah. Mm. Let me burn. Let me burn for you. I wanna preach the world. I wanna do the things that you did, Jesus. Hey. Set my heart on fire. Let me burn. Let me burn for you. Tell me that I will. Spirit of God, breathe on me. Breathe for me. Bring on me, bring on me, bring on me, bring on me. Hey. Let me burn. Set me on fire. Set my heart on fire. Let me burn. I want to burn for you. I wrote the song, it's one of the songs inside the Balm of Gilead. I did a song with Mother Jokes and uh, I wrote this song in a period of my life where I, nothing else mattered. I just wanted to be shaped because I, I did it my own way, times with that number, it didn't work, it didn't work. And Grace found me. The people said, you don't deserve another chance. You've messed up. You've ruined it over and over again. Look at you. You just messed up. You just blew it. Again, you're so dumb. You just did it again. You for real. And yeah, you, can you relate to what I'm saying? And then I, 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 I started thinking, maybe I don't deserve another chance. I just couldn't do it right, really. I tried to do it my own way. But Grace found me and Grace spoke for me and said, yes, you deserve another chance. Mercy rose up and said, you deserve another chance. <laughs> I don't care what they say. I don't care what you've done. I don't care how it looks like. I don't care how, how devastated you are right now, how broken. Mercy rose up and spoke for me that you deserve another chance. And I stood up, I said, I don't want nothing else. Doesn't matter. Take everything, but don't take away Jesus. Take everything, but don't take away the grace, please. Take everything, but please give me the love of Jesus. Men walk away, women walk away, friends walk away. Loved ones desert you. They turn their backs against you. The one you trusted to build, the one you, you, you started the journey with and you thought we're going to end together. The one that you pledged to be with forever. They walk away. And then I'm like, do you know what? It doesn't matter. I just won't be where you are, Jesus. Set me on fire. That's the only thing that matters in my life now. And a lady wrote me um, yesterday morning, and she said to me, the message that I, I talked about, about David, yes, that's two days ago. She said to me, say, woman of God, she wrote me a long, a long note, and I just, I started crying. Because I, I, I could relate. That was where I was. When I wrote the song. I could relate. So I just started crying. I was like, oh my God, this is heavy. And she said to me at the end, please, can you raise up this prayer point? There's a, there was a prayer point that I raised that day. And she said, please, can you raise this prayer point again tomorrow? That was yesterday. So that we pray. And I forgot yesterday. 
And then I apologized. I said, oh, we're going to talk about it. But I forgot. That's the truth. I forgot. And then later, I was like, feeling like, ah, but you're supposed to remember. And the Lord said to me, I purposely didn't want you to remember because it's not just about the prayers that she need. Says so she needs to understand the season where she is. She's watching me now. So I wrote this lady back this evening. I said, listen, you better be around this evening because God has given me a message for you. I told her. I said, but every one of us, we're just going to hook up and we're going to learn from it and grow from it. That was what I wrote her. So the Lord said to me, I want her to understand the season where she is right now. Because if you don't understand why the things that are happening right now are happening, you will fight the wrong people and you keep losing. You shift your focus unnecessarily and you get drained. If you don't understand the reason for the fight, you fight with the wrong weapon, you use the wrong tactic, you, mix, you miss the strategy, and then after all the pain, all the fight and everything, you still lose the baby. So you carry the pregnancy for nine months, you get rid of all the clothes and everything. I'm not talking about just the baby, I'm using it to explain something for people that follow me, you know, that's how I explain. So you go through all the stress for nine months, and then you push the baby out of you, and then you walk away from the, from the labor room without your baby. The devil's a bastard. But that's what happened. Every time when we, when, we, when we don't understand what the Lord is doing with the certain seas in our life, we the app that keep popping us, okay? So we go through seasons in our life. We go through the pain, the backstab, everything. They walk away, they reject you, they humiliate you, they lie to you, and everything. They twist the whole story, they set you up. You go through all of it, and then you come out the same way you entered. That's a lie from the pit of hell. I'm not going to waste my pain. God is not a waster. I've preached similar messages before. But for somebody that is new here, and for this lady, because she just started following me not long. So this message is for you. So God is not a waster of pain. It's not a waste of situation. Whatever it is that you're going through right now. God is not a waste. There's a purpose. There's a reason for it. So every time you find yourself in the jungle, every time you find yourself in a place of isolation, you have to understand that there is something that God wants to bring out from this season. He doesn't, doesn't just allow stuff to happen to you. He's very detailed about what concerns you. God bless you, Judge. God bless you. I miss you, darling. Jacqueline, my um, Jamaican sister. I love you. I love you, darling. Sorry, I can't read because I'm going to be distracted, okay? I will holler you all later. I'll greet you all later. So now, you must understand the season that you are in. In order so that you go through it and you come out a better person. And there's this example that I love to use to explain before we go into the scripture. I said, when you get married, or when you start a business with your business partner, or you start dating somebody, you intended to end up somewhere, and you enter the plane, we're boarding, we're going to Dubai together, the pilots, yes you are, and everybody were in the plane. And then suddenly, the storm comes. You didn't plan it, they didn't plan it, life just happened, ships happen. Suddenly the storm, the wind, and the plane got crushed. And say you are the only one that survived. And that plane crashed. Because you are the one that matter now. We're talking about you, not about them. Yes, the one that, 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 that are pressing your button, that getting you nuts right now. It's not about them, it's about you. So you survived. And then... In the middle of a jungle, one, one island, an unbewoned island, the Dutch will say, where there is nobody, it's just you. You, snakes, lion, tiger, 
water, bushes, forest. It's just you, darling. And then the first day, so that person was the pilot, yes? And you intended to arrive somewhere. Because when you say, yes, I do, you plan that forever, forever, we're on. Nothing is going to happen. Well, never say never. So now you're, you survived, your survival. And then you're the only one in the jungle. There's no connection. You don't know when the next flight is going to pass by there. You wave like, hey, somebody help, I'm here. And then you're going to be in the jungle. There, you complain the first day. And you curse at that person. And you're supposed to fly that plane well. And you didn't see the storm coming. And you did this. And you do that. Oh, you stupid, dumb, whatever. And you're pissed off. You're angry. It's fine. The first day, you do that. The second day, you do that. And my mother supposed to do this. And my brother and my sister. You see, they, they can't even think. Nobody knows what I'm going through. You bunch of... First day, second day. Do the same thing. And then the third day, you're going to get hungry, darling. <laughs> you can't keep complaining. You're stuck in the jungle. You alone. You better be glad you survived. You didn't drown. The plane crashed. Marriage went down. You got a miscarriage. People walk away. Business closed, but you survive. You're not going to keep complaining the third day. <laughs> because you're going to look around and you go, you hear, shh, you hear snakes. You hear tiger. You hear lion. You begin to hear different animals like, <laughs> excuse me, I am in a freaky jungle. All by myself. And then you got to eat. You're not going to complain the third day. What are you going to do? Let's chat. So what, think along with me very fast. What's normal to do? What is common sense to start doing? By the third day. After you've cussed them out. First day, second day. The third day you're hungry. And you begin to hear all the sound of different things. No animals, you're alone. Not human being, you're alone, girl. You begin to learn how to fish. Because you need to eat. You learn how to make your fire. Because you're cold. You're going to freeze, girl. you die. If you keep complaining, you die. You're going to learn the sound of the, of the, of the lion. You're going to learn the, 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 the movement of the snake and take cover. When they're coming, you know that hey, a snake is coming. You're going to learn the tricks of the monkeys. You're going to learn every, everything about different animals in the jungle. Follow me closely, okay? You're going to learn all of those things inside the jungle very fast. Very fast. You ain't got time, darling. Yes, sooner or later, they will, they will spot that plane. They'll spot that plane and they will come get you. But right now, you got to survive. Yes, thank you, Bros <laughs> That's a good one. You try to survive. <laughs> you got to survive. You ain't got no choice, girl. You got to survive. And then you begin to understand that, oh, I can hunt. Oh, I, suddenly I can fish. And now I understand this. Oh, oh this is this leaf. Oh, this is the, this veg. Oh, this is how I make fire without much. You begin to make, that's right. You begin to make fire to, to start up a fire for yourself to cook so you can eat. You begin to learn all those things. And before you know what is happening, you begin to get all those things. You learn how to deal with it. Live among the lion. You learn how to live in the midst of snakes. You learn how to live in the midst of tigers. You learn how to sing along with the birds. You learn how to fish. You know which uh, uh, herbs is poisonous and not. You begin to learn all those things. You begin to know how to deal with these different people. Yes, life. Talking about life. You learn how to live among haters, among pretenders, among fakers, among backstabbers, among, you know, name it all. You begin to learn how to live among them. You begin to learn how to walk and keep your smile. 
in the jungle. Life is a jungle. Now let me take you to the scripture. By the time, finally, they discover that, hey, there's still a survivor. <laughs> in the midst of that thing, that plane crash, they'll get you. When you come out of the jungle, is it going to be the same person that went in? Are you still going to be the same? Talk to me. Are you going to remain the same? That comfortable princess like, <laughs> I am married. Nothing can go wrong. We're good. I'm a slave queen. <laughs> well, this is my terrain. Nobody comes in. This is my guy. <laughs> and in your very nose, they come and just whoop, take that person out of your nose. <laughs> yes, these are my children. Nothing can go wrong. I got it all covered. Uh-uh. Life comes and takes a turn on you, darling. Are you going to come out the same person? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You've learned a lot. So when you're coming out, I don't have a bag here. When you're coming out, you're, you're coming back with your handbag. You've got patience. You're skilled now. you got your temper in place. You have all those things, the fruits of the Spirit, love, kindness, endurance. You got all of them inside your bag by the time you come out of that storm. By the time you come out of that fire. When somebody say, oh, we, oh, I know this thing. Oh, we need to deal with this snake. I know exactly how to deal with the snake. <laughs> I've been there. I learned that. I learned that. In my last fight, the divorce taught me that. Mm -hmm. That friend taught me how to shut my mouth. Mm -hmm. That one taught me how to stay my lane. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry, girl. I can show you. You become a pro after you're back from the jungle. It's a place of prep, darling. God said, tell the sister, I am setting you up for something amazing. And I'm preparing you. It's not them. I am preparing you. You don't waste this pain. Say, so take off your eyes from them. Because when you've been indoors, you got to learn the rules of the company. People don't endorse you and put you there on the, on the billboard when you don't know nothing about the company. Because at the end of the day, you're going to end up wearing Adidas instead of showcasing Nike. So they endorse you. It's cost a lot. After the endorsement, they teach you the rules, the do's and the don'ts. So that when you go out there, you know exactly what you're doing. Let me show you. We're going to read Matthew. Matthew 3. Matthew 3, 16 and 17. And then we go to 4. Matthew 3, 16 and 17. Yes. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight way out of the water. And lo, the heaven were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. And lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Endorsement. Oh, I love you, Omori. So when you're coming out with all the equipment you need in life, I just love you, girl. <laughs> that's it. That's it. You're coming out with all your equipment. Well, you got this cover, darling. You're coming out with all your equipment. And does. So now, the voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Endorsement. And immediately, God endorsed him and said, You check out my son. Check him out. This is my son. Not just my son, my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Immediately, that one happened. But all hell broke loose. The Holy Spirit said, we're going for a prep. Before you start, Jesus, Jesus, the Son of God, before he started his mission, it, he had to be. He had to be equipped. And God said, yes, you are. You know, we set the foundation of love yesterday because that's the reason why people go through stuff in the kingdom, in the church, and they'll walk out on you, your, their pastor. They'll just deny you. Because you didn't teach them. You didn't set the foundation of love for them.
You didn't tell them that they, they've been endorsed. You didn't tell them that they, they are loved. You didn't tell them that this baptism means that they are out. Oh, sorry. Some of these trying to call life. I really have to finish this teaching. I am so sorry, Koro Rita. All right. Now, oh, Holy Spirit, help me. Mm. They didn't tell you, yes, that you are God's beloved. So, that, and you are, that you are loved and precious. So, when you go through a storm, you think, God is trying to kill me. Or, all hell just broke loose. I'm about to die. I don't even understand why I gave my life to God. It's like, since I gave my life to God, <laughs> everything just like, what? Because you don't understand that you've been endorsed. So the foundation of love has to be set straight. Because when you get that straight, when you enter the wilderness, the jungle, you understand that because you have been endorsed, and when, when they endorse you, it comes with big payments. It comes with showcasing. They're out in the billboard. You're everywhere on news, on television, magazine. That's what happened to Jesus. Immediately Jesus finished in the wilderness. He went preaching. He was equipped to, to choose his circle. That's why he didn't need many people. Let me read. So the Bible, the, the Spirit took him into the wilderness to be tested. Identity. Immediately you've been endorsed. They want to test your identity. And see if you understand now who and whose you are. He said then, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit in, into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Hmm? Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. Hunger. That very thing that you don't have, I told you before, that's what they're going to use to mock you. That's what they're going to bring in front of you to try to tempt you. That's what they're going to use to push. That's what they're going to use to set you up. That thing that you lack. That thing you don't have. That thing you lost when you're so hungry for something. Watch it, darling. Watch it. He said, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of, the, of God. He said, it is written. It is written. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and seated him on a pinnacle of temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, they know, they know the scripture. Mm -hmm. He shall give his angel charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up. Lest at any time thou, thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus said to him, he was trying to, to make him see how he trusts this God. This God that just endorses you. Do you really trust him? Do you really trust him? Just throw yourself off. He said, no, I don't have to prove nothing to you, devil. I'm the savior. I don't have to prove nothing to you. You don't have to tell, ask me if my father is going to show up for me. He'll show up. So you're not going to dare me to, to enter the box ring with you and show, prove something to you. I know who my father is. He said, it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taketh him up on an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdom of the world, and the glory of them. And saith unto him, all those things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, get thee, be, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only thou shalt serve. Then the devil Leave him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Some translations say, when the test was over, Satan left him, and angels ministered to him. So after the storm, after you've been tempted, after you've been tried, a time for angels to minister to you comes. For angels to minister to, be ministered to is to be served. Is to get attention, is to be attended to. So the devil left, and angels came to minister to him. You get strengthened, you get refreshed. You begin to command, they minister to you. They are at your service, are they not ministry angels sent to minister to the era of salvation? And then you're sent out there. Jesus went and starts picking his disciples. 
God was trying to teach him. Immediately, he endures you. He takes you into isolation. Because not until a seed go down and die. The Bible says it standeth alone, abideth alone. But when the seed go down and die, it come out, spring out, and bring forth many fruits. So the first thing that the Lord did was to take him into the wilderness to make him understand that I am your God. Identity. You don't need the crowd. He was anointed and approved and endorsed in public. He said, but you got to go there in the, in the wilderness where I'm going to train you, where I'm going to show you who you really are. So when you come out, you don't depend on people. You don't wait for the approver. You don't wait for them to applaud you. You don't get frustrated when they don't support you. You don't get annoyed when they walk away. You don't get irritated when that very person that you didn't expect begin to do, to do whatever they do. Said, I'm going to take you into a place of isolation. I'm going to teach you that I am God. And Jesus went and he passed. It is written, it is written. Say, not in the crowd, in a place where you will be alone, out of the noise. When Jesus walked the little, the little girl, Talita Kumi, he said, if it's Ask all of them in the room. Hey, 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 everybody, you get out. Stop wailing. Leave, leave, leave. Jesus understand that you can't be in the midst of crowd and hear the Father. Isolation. In the place where he formed you, where he, where he, 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 he plants you. It's a, it's a lonely place, but it's not to kill you. It's not to kill you. It's to set you on fire. It's for you to get all the equipment you need for life. Because you've been endorsed and when you come out there, you become a cele, cele, celebrity. That's how you become a queen. You get everything you need to rule. So it's not about them. God is teaching you something. Hold on, I'm bringing you somewhere. Hold on, one more scripture. Psalm 139 verse 15. Psalm 139 15. I'm reading Amplified Version. It said, my frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret and intricately and skillfully formed, embroidered with many colors in the depths of the earth. Intricately is in a very complicated or detailed manner. So, God takes care of every little detail of your life. Nothing takes one away. Nothing. It's in place where I was being formed in secret. In my tears. Do this to me. You? You are for people? How could you? I didn't see this coming. That place is the very place where God formed you. That place is the very place where God trained you. That is the very place where God make, bring out the best out of you to equip you for your next level. So it's not just about where you are right now. God is training you for the, for the next level. Look at what, what he says. He said, say, skillfully formed, embroidered with many colors in the depth of the earth. You go down. Down under the soil. That is where in the place of darkness, that is where God add colors. To your life and brother is decorated with patterns very colorful with different things it begins to decorate you you it's with the hands that you do that you do that uh, uh, how do you say that african knitting where they knit cloth is a very fine masterpiece this time that's how god formed you there under the soil it's deep down under the earth, you go down and you begin to learn all those things in your jungle. Patience, endurance, long suffering. You begin to get all those things added to you. So the next time you find yourself in the storm, because storm will come, the next fight is coming. And anytime a fight comes, it's for elevation because you've been endorsed. When they endorse you in a company, you are, you, are, you are setting yourself up for a challenge. So every time the company wants to outdo another company, it means you have to step up with them. You don't get relaxed. There's work to do when you've been endorsed because there is payment coming into your account. And God is a, is a, is a God of reward. He has endorsed you. 
by his love and his grace. And this thing that you're going through right now, the Lord says should tell you, the sister, I've endorsed you. Take off your eyes from them. I'm just trying to knit you. I'm trying to knit you. I'm trying to do this painting proper. I'm trying to get you prepared for the next level. Because eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. What, I'm, what I, I've set out to do for you, the Lord said I should tell you. He says, so don't worry about them. Don't worry about the setup. It's their setup, but God is setting all of us up. For your sake. For your sake, God is using all of those things to prepare your, 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 your throne for you. So you must understand that I need to go into the jungle, into the wilderness for prayer. I'm not taking anybody. I don't need to because God is teaching me to separate myself from people. Because if you don't go for preparation and shaping yourself and allow yourself to be built by God and yield yourself to the Holy Ghost, to be shaped and molded by God. That the Holy Ghost becomes your teacher. If you don't yield yourself. There is no. I was telling the lady yesterday. I said there is no oil without sacrifice. God want to set you up for something big. So this is not about them. It is about you. So that when you get through all of this. You are ready for your new level. So nobody can tell you anymore that you cannot do without them. Nobody can tell you anymore that you cannot survive the storm. Man, I just got back from the jungle. I faced the devil. And you think that I can't face all this? That's why he was able to face the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all those things. Because he already had that training in the wilderness. Where he was being formed. He said, I know. Job said, you know the way that I take. After I've been tested, I will come out like fine gold. Refined gold. Beautiful, shiny. Like a light. He said, after I've been tested. You don't just bring a raw gold like that. Nobody looks at it. It has to go through the fire. Yeah, that's a jungle, darling. Because it would be a shame that you go through what you're going through now and you remain the same. You walk away with, without your baby. You leave your baby to die in the, in the labor room after all you've gone through. Just as this very moment now, you're about to enter your rest. The fire is on like a woman in travail, giving birth. That is why it's heavy right now. That is what it looks like. All hell has loosed over you. It is not that they're powerful. God is preparing you and the baby is coming. You have to position yourself for betting, said the Lord. He said, I'm going to use you to show that I am a refiner. I'm going to reshape you. Just because this one left don't mean that I don't have something better for you. Just because this one didn't believe in you don't mean that there's no another person that is, that is coming. Just because they don't support you right now. Don't mean that you don't have a support system. The Lord said that he is your support system. You don't need anybody to applaud you. You don't need anybody to applaud you. You don't need anybody to pat your back. He said, I am your God. I am with you in this wilderness, in this jungle. I am talking to this sister and everybody should take from it. He said, I am with you in this jungle. I am teaching you how to live with snakes, scorpion, serpent, a tiger, so that when you enter the next one, you will know exactly how to carry yourself. When you have start having children, you know how to advise them because you've been there. You can only teach me the road to go through the road where you where you've been through. It's a jungle matter, darling. You have been endorsed. Be so, because people make, try to make you feel in this Christian race. 
fakers and Pharisees and so they try to make you feel because of your sin, because of what you've done, because you were just done, you just couldn't take right decision. That's the reason why you're going through what you're going through. But it's a lie of the devil, darling. Sometimes life just takes its turn on you and God uses all of those things, even your own mistake. Even your own mistake and error, God have a way of turning it around to use it to shape you. It doesn't matter how many times you fall, you keep standing up and say, I deserve another chance. I'm going to try it again and I'm going to do it better this time. You ain't going to tell me to die in this place. I am standing up to do this thing again. I'm going to take something from this, from every failure. From every fall, from every disappointment, you dare not walk away without taking something from it, darling. You be sure that you take something from every fight, from every struggle, from every betrayer. Take something from it, meaning learn one thing from it and begin to put it inside your, your pocket. Oh my God, I don't have a bag. You begin to put it inside your rubber bag like you went, went shopping in the shopping mall. You put this, you put that, you put that, you put that. Then at the time when you get home, you discover that you have all the ingredients to make a soup. That's what happens in life, in every storm that you go through. God begins to allow you to learn something from everything. Take this, take this from this, take patience from this, take endurance, take this. Learn how to shut up, learn how to walk away, learn how to do this. You begin to learn all those things. From every time people do whatever they do with you, it's an opportunity for you to learn. It's not about them. People come and go deal with it. It doesn't matter who, who they are. There's nobody that is not irreplaceable. The only thing you shouldn't lose is Jesus. The only thing you shouldn't lose is the Holy Ghost. Every other person that walks away is fine. It's not by force. Even there are family, family members, we see, hello, hello, it's fine, we still remain family, but, but there is a space in your life where there is isolation, where you need to grow, because if you don't reshape yourself, if you don't rebrand yourself, people want to see you in the same place that you are, they want to see you endorsed but still remain the same, they want to see you saved as a Christian and fruitless, that's why they frustrate your effort, because they want to see you fruitless, so that they can tease you, so they can mock you and say, since you gave your life to Jesus, what have Jesus done for you? So they constantly frustrate your effort. They constantly mock you with the things that you lost. They constantly, constantly mock you with the things that, you, that, that, that you've, you have to do without. Because they don't want you to bear fruit. Because when you get busy with it, you don't get yourself busy with bearing fruit. You don't get yourself busy with shopping. You don't go to the shopping mall and begin to have discussion with everybody. Girl, it's time for you to shop. You don't have much time in this jungle. You're not going to stay here forever. The supermarket is going to close very soon. You better concentrate on your shopping and start shopping. Start taking everything you need to take from the storm. You don't waste it. You don't let it just go like that. That would be a shame. That would be a shame. They lied on you. You cried every, every whole night. And then after five months, you're out of that storm. And you remain the same. That's a lie, darling. That's not God's plan. There is something you're supposed to learn from it. We're going to pray. Say, Father. Teach me how to survive in the jungle. <laughs> you gotta go through the jungle anyway. Sooner or later, you go. Laugh at me now. Mock me now. Think that I'm stupid now. That whatever. You can have big mouth now because you're not wearing my shoe. <laughs> you can want to tell me how to do it now because you're not wearing my shoe. Oh God. Your time is coming. You gotta go through the jungle. So don't, don't be too fast. It's gonna come. Say, Lord, teach me how to survive in the jungle. When people lose their mind and get crazy, when hell break loose, teach me how to live in the jungle. Say, teach me how to survive in the jungle. Say, 
e makaya da bo zende le braga do shata we are praying already le kata sete le mado zondo le baka shata e le makoyana masiondo le ba shata yi kata bo jada la bo do sete ya re kata sata se teach me how to survive in the jungle e makozo te le braga do zata I am done complaining rakato zende le ba shata ya da bo zete rega do zete le braga do shata teach me how to survive in the jungle le zema kaya to zata Ema shanda la rabo sete le kata. Teach me how to survive in the jungle. E le bakoro sete le braga do jata la bo sata. I kata la raba shanda la rabo sondo le kata. Teach me how to survive in the jungle. Le kanda bo soto le braga do shata. People are always gonna be people. They will shock you. He kasata bo sata. But Lord, teach me how to survive among them, among haters, among fakers, among pretenders. E rakata bo sata. Teach me how to survive among them because you. Gonna always have them around, darling. La koto siata la bo shata. And sad enough, these are people that are close to you. You can pull them out totally. So you gotta learn how to survive in their misge. E kata bo shata. E la kwata zende le bakatu ziata. You better learn how to survive in their mister. Le kata life is a jungle. If you don't learn how to survive, they'll frustrate your effort. E kaza la bo soto le brakade. You become a fruitless Christian. Said the devil is a bastard. The devil is a liar. Rakoto seke le bragado. Lord, teach me how to survive in the jungle. E kata bo zoto le bragado zete. Re kamano zonto le bra eshata. Teach me how to survive in the jungle. E le kabo shata yada bo zoto. Le ziele manto ya e kato zete e bato. Teach me how to survive in the jungle. E rakute le bragado shata. Ma do zete le ba etala makwata. E zma eta bragado shata e kato. Ragado shanda lada bo zoto le bado. Zekete le braga do shandea. Teach me how to survive in the jungle. E la tuaya na modo shanta ekata. Makute se le bra esiata ekata. Teach me how to survive in the jungle. Le koya na ma shanta la rabo zete. La koto ziede bakute se le bra esiata. La koto zianda esiata ebado. Teach me how to survive in the jungle. Le kuta ya rabo shata. Listen. It is a prayer you must pray. Because if you know a snake, you know when a snake is around, girl, you have to raise your leg. They'll bite you. When you've lived in the midst of chameleon, you know they will change color on you. Sooner or later, they will change color on you. One day you are up there, tomorrow you are not anymore. They'll change color on you. Because that person is a chameleon. So you, you are not shocked when that person changes color on you. When you're dealing with a monkey, you know they are very trickish. You know not to do business with them. You're a monkey. Fine, we're together, but I know better not to do this with you. When you are dealing with a liar, one that cannot close his or her mouth, you know that you are a liar. It's fine. You, may, you might be in my church. You might even be in my choir. But we do the song together. I go home. You go home. I don't call you after choir practice because you're a liar. You're a certified liar. So I'm not going to call you. When you know that this person can't keep secrets, I don't call you. I don't talk to you. So that's how you learn how to deal with different animals, even in the same environment. Say, Father, give me the grace to discern Yantabo Shata, who's a snake, who is a tiger. Who is a lion? Who is a chameleon? Mm -hmm. Who is a monkey? Help me to discern. Help me to discern these people. La koto siato shata. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Doesn't matter how close they are to you, because they are the ones that are close to you. La koto siala. They are in your circle. You walk with them. You go to church with them. You eat with them. You dine with them. Mashanda labo soto lebragado shata. You shop with them. You do things with them. Help me to discern. La koto siala koto shia etwa. E sianda bakute zilebra ukode iziata. Me kata bojata ekwata esede. Help me to discern who is a snake. E sma utiede iziada ebala kwata esa. So I don't leave my leg on the ground for that snake to bite. Ma lo soto le bragado shata. You can be around but I put my leg on, on her. Le zwata la bragado shanta la bragado se tele kaya. Father teach me to discern. Ma shante le rebrozoto. 
Le mashata la rabozoto. Le baba zoto le kayana mo shata. Le zma koto zi ebra otia. Help me to disa. E kaziote le katwasia e lebra otia esia. Makute zie de mo koto zia kwataza iza. E le kwata esia la ebra kado shata. Help me to disa so that I will not be fooled. Le kazoto lebra kado shata. I will not be food by their cover up i will not be food by their sweet talk le kata basoto le bragado shata e lesma e kato lesia etata father help me to discern give me the grace to discern esma kate le boshata just because you come and arrange the chair just because you come and set up the microphone le shata you might just be the devil they sent into my ministry uh, you don't get food pastors e le kata boshata le kata just because they pay the biggest tithe don't mean they are the ones that god has sent to build they might, they might just come with a cover and pay the biggest tithe but they are the destroyers say father help me not to be carried away le kata basotuya give me the grace to decide who you are le koto ziata ibado rakande maswanda esete esa e kwata zia la braka do ziete esa le kadabo jata e kwata ezete le baya takunde zete le braka do give me the grace to decide e zeka labo shanta makuti esa la bokonto seke le bra ukodo eziata help me to decide who is who Ele kaya rabo shata le sende bakute si lebra e kadosha e kata. Listen, I love one teaching I listened from TD Jakes years back. Say there are three different people in your life. They're always going to be there. You need them. You need them. Unless you're not ready to do great things, you need them. They're not just only going to be there. You need them to survive. You need them to do great things. You need them to get to that place. Yeah, God uses them. Mm -hmm. God uses them. Let me put it like that. You have your confidence. You have your constituents. And you have your comrades. There are three different sets of people that comes in your life. You better find out why people come in your life, darling. Don't be fooled. You better find out what they are, what they are after. So you don't mistake a constituent for, for uh, your confidence. You don't mistake somebody that's in for what he or she can get. They use you to climb and you mistake that person for confidence. Because if you mistake a constituent for confidence, you tell that joker everything and they will turn their back on you when they get somebody else that can get them to the place where they are going, that can give them what they want, they'll, they'll turn their back on you. Because that person is not your confidence. Confidence, they stick with you. They cover your shame. They hide your secrets. They know your flaws, but they, they, they cover and, and, and they help you to grow. They help you to become better. Constituents are just there because of what you carry. What like you not know, David and the and the and the king? That one, not them, not them. They are there for your gift, what you can give them. When you no longer have that thing anymore, they'll dump you. When they find somebody else that can help them carry further, they'll dump you and they'll, go, they'll live without you. They don't, they, they don't have conscience. They, they are like, com they pretend to be confident. They will show you love. They will do everything as long as they can get something from you. As long as you help them climb. As long as you help them sustain their vision. As long as you fuel what they want, they will stick with you. Immediately you don't have nothing else to offer that they find somebody or they find somebody else that can feel that thing better than you your, your, your history Those are the constituents They are users. They are suckers Parasites. That's who they are. Like about shut up. And then you have the comrade. They are not for you. They are not for them They are bloody civilians mm -hmm. It's a one man squad So they will join your enemies your haters. They don't like each other They don't like your haters they don't like you. So they will join your haters. They will, they will come together. You see all these social media fights. Thank God we, we don't see them anymore. Praise the Lord. They will join together. Yes, just to fight one person. So they will hook up with your, with your uh, uh, haters to bring you down. So they will join there. After they've seen you come down, they will go their own way. So they just hook up together. They'll do anything, they become friends to bring you down. So if you mistake a constituent for a, 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 a confidant, it's an issue. If you mistake a chicken for an eagle, my friend, there's a problem. You don't pet what you're supposed to put away. There are some things you don't fool with 
when you are destiny child. So if I understand that you are a snake, I know what to do when you are around. If I understand that you are a lying, um, <clears throat> I know what to do when you come around. I know how to shut my mouth. When I understand that you are in for what I have, it's fine. So I know that when I don't have that thing anymore, or when you find somebody else, you walk away, it's fine. I'm cool with it. When I understand that you are a comrade, but I still need you, God will use them to shape. Ah, shut up, oh, Satan, you don't understand. So God will use these three people to fulfill his mandates in your life, in your ministry. As long as you just know them, that you don't mistake them. So God started speaking to me. You must stop crying and say, oh, they always betray me, friends. They always do this. They always, God said, no, you're the stupid one. Because you mistake everybody for confidence. So you must understand that this three set of people are in your life. Don't get it missed. Don't get it twisted. They are always going to be in your life. He said, but you just have to know who. This is a comrade. There's a confidence. There's a constituent. So I know the seat I give you in my life. I don't want to put you in the front row when you're supposed to be at the back row. It's a problem. Because if you sit in the front row, you see everything. I don't take you into the, my bedroom when you get to my house. You enter, you sit in the parlor. You don't come to my bedroom. I'm talking about life. I don't invite you into the inner circle. Why did Jesus just chose only 12? And sometimes when he's going to some places, he's take only three. Say, you, the rest, wait there. You, I know you are part of the group, but you wait there. And I just need this tree. Say, Father, say, Father, help me to know who is who. So I know where to place them so I don't get wounded. If you mistake a constituent for a confidant, they will wound you. They will cause you to bleed. If you mistake, mistake a comrade for a, a, a confidant, they will wound you. They will cause you to bleed. Endless bleeding is the order of the day. Say, Father, help me to understand who and who and who. When people come into my life, to quickly discern the reason why they're in my life and know who they are so I know the category to place them. So I don't get the shock of my life. When they, when they think they want to shock me, they end up shocking themselves. Oh yes, that's how we love the Holy Ghost. Love that's true. They think they want to shock you, they end up shocking themselves because you already know you're a snake. I already know you're a chameleon. So when you change your mind, oh, that's fine with God. But be sure that you, you didn't use me. God used you to do something in my life. I will make sure I take something from that from that fall, from that backstab, from that rejection, from that thing. I must learn something from it. I don't waste my pain. I don't waste any experience. I must learn something from it. They say, pray like at all. Pray, pray, pray. Say, Father, help me to discern who is you. So that I don't get injured unnecessarily. Enough of the bleeding. Enough of the bleeding. You don't let nobody fool you, girl. Say, help me to know, discern who is who. I'm still talking to that sister. <laughs> when this thing is clear to you, you will call me. You will call me in a few months' time. In short, I will travel all the way from this country and come to that place where you are. I will. I will come for that celebration. Did you hear me? I will travel all the way from here. I will come to that country. Yes, you are thinking it's far. What are you talking about? I will come to that country to celebrate you. That is how confident I am. What God said is about to do in your life, girl. Say, Father, help me to decide who is who. I don't want to cry no more. I don't want to bleed no more. This is the jungle. I have to know who's a snake, who's a lion, who's a tiger. You think you want to fool me? No, I'm onto you. I know you. I know you. You don't belong in this category. You're there. You're there. I'm not going to give you space in this place. Say, Father, help me to discern. I don't want people to use me and dump me anymore. Mm -mm. 
Help me to protect myself. So that I don't be foolish and put everybody in, uh, as a confidant. People will shock you, darling. But when you know who is who, they don't shock you, they shock themselves. Sooner or later, they will find that. They just shock themselves. They've just taught you the lesson of life. They've just handed you a shovel. They've just handed you a boxing bag. They've just handed you a cutlass. They've just handed you something that you need. They've just handed you a tread. They've just handed you a matches to spark up your life. The thing that they came to destroy. But they've just handed you a matches to spark up something in your life. They walk away. They thought you're going to remain broken. But they just handed you something to spark up your life. They just gave you something to add color. He said, and brothers, on that day, under the earth, that's the place where he formed me. That's the place where he, he molded me. That's the place where he shaped me. That's the place where he knits me together. That's the place where he add colors to my life. That's the place where he make plenty colors out of me. Where he gives me the coat of many colors. He's the place where I learn how to survive. He's the place I learn how to cook. He's the place I learn how to trade. He's the place I learn every hand work. He's the place I, go, I decide to go back to school. He's a place where I change location. Come find me. If you leave me here today, come back next tomorrow. You ain't gonna find me there, darling. If you leave me here today, you think I'm gonna go and I'll come back anytime I like? You ain't gonna find me there. You are a joker. I forbid. Bini say, Awa. Ikwe. I won't agree. You can't find me the same place you left me. Because I will use that death you throw on me to climb. I will use this pain to grow. Mm -hmm. I will use this betrayer to shine. I will use this rejection to elevate myself. I'm going to make my pain work for me. I'm going to make the trust you throw on me. I'm going to use it to climb. Say, Father, help me to use my pain to work for me. Help me translate my pain into my gain. Baba, help me to turn my pain to gain. Help me to turn my, my pain to gain. Help me to turn my pain to gain. Help me to turn my pain to gain. You are not going to meet me the same place you left me. Go and come back. You will not meet me there. I would have already changed status. I would have already changed location. I would already have a change of name. You are going to come back with me married. You are going to come back and meet me my own business. You're going to come back and meet me in another place. You're going to come back and meet me burning for Jehovah. You're going to come and meet me carrying my baby. I must have delivered. You thought I am barren. And God bring another man. You get pregnant. And then from far they see that the one that is barren has become mother of plenty. You will not meet me in the same place. I will turn this pain to gain. Say Father help me to turn my pain to gain. I'm going to turn this pain to gain. Say, Father, help me to turn every pain to gain. I'm not going to waste my pain. I'm not going to let them bust my water. I'm not going to let them bust my water. I'm not going to let them give me a cut in my pay part. And I don't have a baby to show for me. The devil is a bastard. Masetaya, Masata. I'm not gonna let them cut my womb. Lekataya. I'm not gonna let them cut my belly. Leshataya. And then I have nothing to show for it. I'm gonna have this stretch mark and no baby to show for it. That was a bastard. Lekasiana katosata. Say the father to turn every pain to gain. I'm going go through the setup command. Lekandosha. Help me to turn my pain to gain. It was Zala. You lied on me, I'll turn it again. You reject me, 
out on it again. Watch me now, girl. You walk away, I will turn it again. You left me alone broken. I will turn those broken pieces to a masterpiece. Oh, watch me, girl. You think you're going to come back to the broken pieces? Mm -mm. Yeah, you listen to me, girl. They think they've shattered you now. They think they've cornered you. But God just planted you. They're going to come back and see a masterpiece. All the broken, shattered pieces that they left you with. All the pieces. You're going to pick them up. You're going to pick up all of them and use it to make a masterpiece. Yatabo, shantalas yatabo. Say, Father, le quarter zia lega ezia in tabo shata. Do not let them find me where they left me. Hey, Baba. Tonight, me myself, I'm going to pray this prayer. Just tonight, I'm going to take this pers this one's personal contract. Say, Father, do not let them find me where they left me. Le shanda la da basoto la shata. Le kwaya da zia takazia da zia. Girl, you listen to me. Pray this prayer like you've gone gaga. I don't want to do crazy now. They said I'm already crazy. This rugged evangelist. So let me keep my cool. So tonight when the camera is off, I'm gonna shanda la koto siata. I'm gonna put on my prayer warrior and say this is a fight. This is a war room where I tell the devil, you ain't gonna meet me in the place you left me. Le kata boshata. I'm gonna wear my bumper to bumper. Le kata la boshata. Remove my hair and my wig. Eziata kwata sata. And I'm gonna fall down flat on the floor and tell the devil, you ain't gonna find me where you left me. Mm -mm. I guarantee you, you will not find me where you left. You get this prayer, darling. Pray this prayer. Say, Father, don't let them find me where they left me. Le shanta bakoto siya le kwata esiata. I war with this prophecy. Makoto siya talabo shata. Le katalabo. I wrestle with this prophecy. Makoto siya le bashanta yakoto. Le kaya na mo shanda lagade. I shanda with this prophecy. You ain't gonna leave me here and you think you're gonna meet me here when you come back. You are a liar. Makoto siya ebra otia ta eswata. Le I am gonna wrestle with this thing until I leave this place. The place of depression, the place of loneliness, the place of bitterness, the place of constantly arguing, the place of constantly babbling, the place of constantly defending myself, the place of constantly explaining myself. You ain't gonna meet me here, baby girl. You ain't gonna meet me here, Hosey. You ain't gonna meet me here, family, whoever that person is to you. You ain't gonna meet me here. No, you ain't gonna meet me here. I am going to fight the moment you throw me in the pit before you turn your back I am already fighting to come out it's a fight girl the race does not belong to all this small small crying this thing we don't cry we wrestle with this thing before you turn your back I am already if you, if you try just turn your back watch you will see that I'm already crawling out of that pit. Somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. I'm not going to say this pit, darling. Say, Father, le kwata siya kato siya la kukia. Let them not meet me where they left me. Le tuwa siya ta ushata. Le maswada esiya ta. Le kaya na mashando lo kuto siya la. Let them not meet me where they left me. Hey, la kato siya ta la bragado. I must have something to show for my pain. Eh, atabo shata. I must have something to show for my pain. Le siada bo shata. I must have something to show for my scars. Le siala kwata. I must have something to show for this bleeding. Is makote siya etwa. I must have something to show for this cut. Etia iswata isiada isia isia ekwata. You will not find me where you left me. Mando shanta la brakato siata. Let's see at a labo shatter. Say, Father, 
Do not let them find me where they left me. Change my story. Yadabo. That is the prayer point that the sister gave. He said, Father, change my status. Say, Evangelist, please let them pray for me. The insult is too much. I read that post, I wept because I could relate. When people think that they are your support system, I could relate, girl. When people think that you can do without them, girl, I can relate. When people think that they become God in your life and you can't move, I can relate. When people think that they must applaud you, they must approve you before you get to the next step, I can relate. When people mock you because of what you lost, babe, I can relate. So I wept as I read that me. When they mock you, when they make mockery of you because of what you left, what you what you left behind, what you lost, what was taken, what was broken, I can relate. So she said, "Let them pray for me, Father. Change my story." I can relate. I know it all. They mock me at my back. They mock me at my front. They did it all. Some even came on social media and used I to mock me. It is fine. It is fine. Change my story. 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 But I'm a testimony today, darling. Oh, you can't deny that. You, I am a testimony. And I am still moving. You ain't gonna find me here next time. Say, Father, change my story. Father, give me a new location. Say, Father, change my story. Say, Father, overtone. Say, Father, change my story. Father, change my story. The mockery is too much. I can relate. I can relate. They mock me. They call me all sort of names. They call me all sort of name. They will laugh at me. My front and my back is something else. I was mocked, wounded by the very ones I call my own. I can relate. I can relate, darling. I can relate. But what saw me through it was I just recognized that God is training me. This is a jungle. So, girl, we are praying to God. Father, change our story. my accounts to help. Look at all to pastors. The very ones I served. They were the very ones that took instruments and caught me. They were the very ones that took weapons and caught me over and over again. They mock me. They mock me. They will use it and twist it against me. They caused me to cry. They caused me to bleed. They left me broken. They left me broken. They used to be my support system. I didn't know that God was my support system. So because they knew that, okay, I'm kind of a support system. They walk away. They walk away and left me wounded there by the roadside. Say, girl, you're going to suffer and die. 
one of them looked at me and he said, I made you. I am a shataya. He said, I made you. He said, I made you. I said, You think? Moto swata siata labo shata. I say you are a liar. I say from henceforth I don't walk with you anymore. Le shanta labo shata labo sata. I remember vividly that day. He did like this and say, I'm gonna see how you're gonna survive. I made you. I made you. The brand. This brand that people are celebrating. We made it. I say you. You, you shoved that. I say well let's see. I say you're sacked. You're fired. Le siata you're fired. La koto siata so you are so fired. La masanto legata. And immediately I was able to pull out. I said, you're going to watch how I'm going to survive. The first thing that the Lord did, he opened the door for me to the Caribbean. The Lord opened the door for me. I took control of my life back. I'm not going to be a slave anymore because of my hunger. Mashanda bosata. I'm not going to be a slave to you anymore because I want it desperately. Le siata shiata swata. I am not going to be a slave to you anymore. Le katalobo shata because I want one help or the other from you. I'm not going to be a slave anymore. Ah, you won't do this to me anymore. I can relate, girl. I can relate. I can relate. I've been there. Le kaziada so I don't get shocked. I don't get bothered when people walk away. I don't get bothered when people turn their back on me. I really got a tough skin. My baby is too important. My baby is too important. My baby, I'm sorry for the time. My baby is too important. My baby is too important. I'm not going to let you kill my baby. I'm not going to let you kill this thing. I gotta focus, I'm carrying a baby. La shata la bosata. You listen to me, girl, for that lady. For that lady that this message is specifically for. The Lord said, don't let them kill your baby. There's something growing inside of you, baby girl. La kadabo shanda la I didn't see it, and they, they almost succeeded in killing my baby. Le kasato le I had to go that to somebody that, that broke my marriage. I walked to her. I said, I've forgiven you, not for you, because I will strangle you. I feel like strangling you. You scatter the marriage that I built. You scatter the home that I built with your stupid nine stand. I said, I feel like strangling you. I said, but I have come to tell you I've forgiven you. I said, because I don't want to give you the, the key. First, you broke my marriage, and I give you the key to lock me up. I said, no, 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 no. I said, I've forgiven you. I said, not for you, I do it for me. My baby is too precious. I'm carrying something. I'm not going to let unforgiveness kill it. The Lord said, I should tell you, girl. Don't let unforgiveness kill your baby. Don't let unforgiveness kill your baby. Don't let them do this to you. The Lord said, I should tell you, don't let them do this to you. You gotta love them. You gotta love them still. You gotta love them, but use wisdom. No, he's a snake. No, he's a tiger. No, he's a lion. You gotta love them, but don't be stupid. Now I know how to to live among snakes, scorpions, cobras, name them, tigers, I know how to live among them, all of them, let's yata spider, I can survive anywhere, put me anywhere, any jungle, I'll survive, <laughs> I'll survive because I've been through it all, Le kataya la kata. you see this small year, but for Christ, you've seen, my friend, I have been through hell and hot water, I have been through hell and hot water, I know how to survive anywhere, any weather you put me, I will survive. If it is rainy, I got an umbrella. I got patience. If it is sunny, my shot, I got my sunglasses. If it's snowy, I got my snow boots on. You can fool me. If it's really cold, I got my jacket on. I got everything. I have it in my back. I got it in the jungle. I gathered this thing in my jungle. I gathered this thing in my wilderness so I can pull it out anytime. These are the equipment that my pen gave me. These are the equipment. These are the gadget that my, my, my skin give me. These are the things that that lie, that frustration, that anger. These are the things 
that conspiracy. These are the things I gathered from it. So anytime I need it, I just pull it out. I got it, baby girl. You can't take it from me. It's an experience that I gathered in the wilderness. It's an experience that I gathered in my jungle. It is a jungle matter. And I came out of the jungle a better, a stronger, a wiser woman. You can't break me. You cannot break me. You cannot break me. Not anymore. Too loaded. I am too loaded. I am too equipped to be broken again. If you try break me, come back. I have made already a masterpiece from the brokenness. If you try want to put storm on me, want to put death on me, when you come back, I've used all of that. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. I've used it to climb. You can't break me anymore. I have passed that stage. You can't break me. You can't give me sleepless nights anymore. You are a liar. I got this thing in my jungle. I have gathered this thing. In case you don't know, breaking news. I'm not shock you are le kwata siata labra e kiata ezia e kwa isia la kwande zile brakato shata i am not shocked i kwanda za wala boku tu siya lakato shaya nto kosete i'm not shocked i got this thing i just pull it out i just pull it out put me any weather i'll survive put me in any jungle i will survive i will tell you quickly there's a snake any environment you put me, just give me one week. I'll tell you, there's a snake, there's a lion, there's a tiger, there's a monkey. But watch it, girl. Hey. That one, watch it. I'll tell you. Because I learned it in my jungle. So if you think you're going to meet me in the same place you left me, you're a joker. Come back next tomorrow, I've moved. Just one day is enough for me to shift because I learned quickly to protect my baby. I learned quickly to shake it off. I just shake this thing off. I shake it off. I just dust it off. Pull it off. Pull it off. You can't pull it off me. Pull it off. Pull it off. You can put it on me, girl. I'll pull it off. I will shake off this. Dust this thing off me. I will dust it off me. Can't put it on me. You gotta be stronger. People mess up with your mind. People mess up with your mind. They wanna pull out like they pull out. Then your God, girl. Then your God, girl. I'm telling you. I can relate. I'm telling you, I can relate. Because this is my life. I shake you off. You ain't gonna miss me there. I will dust all those things off and I will use it to, to stand. I will stand on the dirt and use it to climb. You ain't gonna meet me there. Receive the grace to live again. Receive the grace to rise above every pain. Receive the grace to make your pain work for you. Receive insight to understand the people around you so you don't fall victim receive the grace to be strong and say no mm -mm. no to taskmasters I refuse to be enslaved by you what you want how you want it when you want it I refuse we're done we're done talking you can't break me you can't break me. Receive the grace to make a masterpiece from those broken pieces. Receive the grace. Today is the day where you say bye bye to taskmasters. We're done. We're done. I ain't gonna do this no more. No more to taskmasters. God will feed you with this word so that you don't get hungry for the wrong things. Because hunger, you become a slave. God will show you that he's your support system. He's, he's the reason why you survive. It's not them. They were not there when you were in the jungle. They don't know where, how you lived with snakes. How you lived with scorpions, with serpents, with tigers. They don't know. They don't know. I will come back and tell you about the oil. So when I'm talking to you, you know that I know exactly what I'm talking from. I can feel it. I can feel your pain. I can relate to you because I've been there where people constantly break me. 
they've broken me to a place now, there's nothing else to break anymore. Because the brokenness is what made me now. So they can't break me no more. Nothing. I'll come back and meet a masterpiece. I'll, I'll bet you. Receive the grace to make something new out of this pain. To make this pain work for you. Receive the grace to say no to taskmasters. Receive the grace to love them. Receive the grace to love them. Mm -hmm. Receive insight to know them. The Lord bless and keep your heart, girl. I promise you. I will come to your celebration. I'll come, girl. I'm not joking. I'm going to write today's date down. That lady, I'll come for your celebration. And we're going to do the dance. You're going to say, this Nigerian girl, she's a... I didn't know she's crazy. Because I'm going to prepare the dance. I'm coming to dance for your celebration, girl. I'm going to prepare the dance. You have never seen any kind of it in your country. <laughs> I'm coming, girl. Just get ready. It's going to happen with or without them. I can relate. It's going to happen. So I'm coming. Me, I will come. Receive that grace. I love you. Thank you, Osayemere. Constance. Thank you. Nelson Lisa was my name. Better. Bless. Come on, give the like, give the like, give the love, give me the hard right your name. Thanks for Thanks for joining. Yes, yes. Who else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank That's me, that's me, I can't help it. So pass what I'm doing. I'm trying to make my own. I'm laying out. I'm trying to make my own. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you, so God. Three more minutes, and I'll be checking out. Just quickly want to greet you. Frank Bensi, first time I'm seeing you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. I celebrate you all. Oh. So, no, sir, I miss you. So, hey, Mary, I'm going to call you, okay? Oh bless you. Alright, I think I got everybody now. For the people that I can see, for my silent followers, I thank you anyway. I thank you. Share this video, please. Share it. Message it to somebody or messenger. You don't know who you might save with this. Don't fail to share. God will bless you as you keep sharing. Let the V, my darling sister, is online. Of course you are. God bless you. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Two people, all that see this, I celebrate you. For the people that are just joining today, I'm not just a preacher for you say this. I'm a singer. For the ones that don't know, I'm a singer. These are my latest album, Balm of Gilead, Ebube. So you order this 10, you get this 10. It's a big promo. Inbox me, I'll tell you all the details. You get 10 CDs, other 10 CDs, you get 20. That's it, it's a big promo. So uh, inbox me, I don't want to bother you with it. Now we spend a lot of time. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is how we end for the people that are just join me. That's how we end every of my video. Eh? If I don't do that, they'll haunt me. <laughs> so you don't let nobody fool you. So you do your hand like this. 
attitude. Yeah, we don't fool nobody. And nobody fool us. Don't let nobody fool you. Okay, so I woke up to see her miss. She was like, I'm So she had me. I said, bring this message definitely a year or a year and a half ago. Can you imagine? She was looking desperately for that message. You know, and I was like, she said, yes, hello, tell her. I told her, she said, don't encourage you. Subscribe to my YouTube page. Because she almost like, follow me. Like, promote your YouTube channel. Okay. It's okay. Wait, oh, sorry. Yes, thank you, sister Stella, for that <laughs> advice. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube page. Alright, don't let nobody fool you. That's how people love you. You don't let nobody push you out of your house. Nobody makes you feel worthless. Don't let nobody make you feel that you can't do it. It's a miracle. You are a king. And that's all. Your father is the monarch of the universe. So if my father is the monarch of the universe, your fool may become queen. Meaning, whatever I set my heart to do. Is a master of the people. Of you can be on five different things because we have our presidents with And the if you pray quite as a place and tell me you're happy and nobody has about it, I will go and join you in prayer. We're doing it together. I'm not a prophet that go to the mountain and ask you. We're doing it together. So let me agree with you in prayers. Bye bye. Shalom. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.